sometimes it's hilarious seeing wrestlers break character. I see you both have balls. <laughs> It's okay. Good. It's okay. And other times, they have to break character for very sad reasons. And again, uh, this is not, it is not part of tonight's entertainment. This first one, though, was pretty funny. On Raw, Alicia Fox bumped into Nia Jax. Alicia had a habit of acting crazy, and that's what happened with Nia. But something didn't go according to plan. Listen, you, you don't want to get out of my face! Huh? Huh? What do you want to do? This was the weirdest way someone broke character ever in WWE. On NXT, Goldust and Oksana were about to get married. Of course, it was a storyline, but one of the commentators randomly broke the illusion and admitted the wedding was part of the show. I thought Cody and uh, Goldust hated each other. Cody, you know this isn't a real wedding, right? It, it's fake? <laughs> You're re this is re not real. On the final Raw of 2015, everyone started coming out from the back to talk about how 2016 would be their year. Big Show was one of them, but rather than use words, the Giant decided to let his fists do the talking. Our truth pulled a 1000 IQ move and knocked himself out. However, it worked out too well, and he actually caused Big Show to crack a smile and break character. We all remember the infamous curtain call incident where Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall broke character and hugged each other after Michaels and Nash had just fought in a steel cage match. Luckily for WWE, that incident didn't happen on live TV, but this other incident did. At NXT TakeOver Brooklyn in 2015, Sasha Banks defended the Women's Championship against Bayley. Going into the match, the two women were bitter rivals, and this made the match even better. After having a physical fight, Bayley came out on top and finally won the gold. Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch ran to congratulate her, which was keeping in character. However, Sasha Banks broke character and embraced her enemy with a hug. The moment would not be addressed after the event, but this wasn't the first time the boss broke character. Months earlier, Sasha Banks fought in a fatal four-way match for the NXT Women's title. The legit boss defeated the Nature Girl to win the title and did an interview backstage. She started in character, but then decided to give her real feelings. We get you being Sasha Banks, but what are you feeling in there right now? <laughs> you earned all of this. I feel like this 10-year-old girl who started her journey watching wrestling is just is living her dream. Wrestlers also break character for sometimes very serious reasons. In 2007, Monday Night Raw ended with Vince McMahon stepping inside his limo and the vehicle bursting into flames. The next week, it was confirmed that McMahon had died in the explosion in case you had any doubt. The storyline was supposed to continue with a special investigation to determine who killed the owner of WWE. However, that's not what happened. In real life, WWE wrestler Chris Benoit killed his wife, son, and himself. Hours before Raw was set to go on the air, WWE learned of this information and Vince McMahon broke character to address the tragedy that had happened. Tonight's storyline was to have been the alleged demise of my character, Mr. McMahon. However, in reality, WWE superstar Chris Benoit, his wife Nancy, and their son Daniel are dead. May 23rd, 1999 is one of the darkest days in WWE. The company was broadcasting a pay-per-view event called Over the Edge. During the show though, a wrestler would die. Owen Hart, who was playing a character called the Blue Blazer, was supposed to descend from the top of the arena and be lowered into the ring. However, the harness snapped and Owen plummeted to his death. The accident wasn't shown on TV. However, commentator Jim Ross was forced to explain what happened to the viewers and break character as well. Very serious situation here at this point in time is being attended to by the, by the, uh, the EMTs. Uh, this is not a part of the uh, entertainment here tonight. We are as, this is as real uh, as it real can be here. In a controversial decision, the show continued and led to Jeff Jarrett also breaking character. Weedy, De Deborah, now this shut up. Uh, no, let's talk about business. First off, Owen Hart, I'm praying for you, buddy. On an old school episode of Raw, CM Punk fought Roman Reigns in the main event. Of course, Roman had Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins with him, but Punk came prepared with the New Age Outlaws. After the match, the Shield tried to deal some more damage, but were stopped by the return of Jake the Snake. With some help from the Outlaws, Punk was able to knock out Dean Ambrose, and the lunatic fringe got the snake treatment. Most people would freak out having a snake on top of them, but not Ambrose. Dean could not contain his excitement and broke a smile. After becoming Cruiserweight Champion, Enzo Amore felt like a king, or at least, the king of the Cruiserweights. Amore managed to give himself a deal that prevented any of the other Cruiserweight wrestlers. Enzo decided to have some fun with his newfound power by roasting the entire Cruiserweight division to their faces. What's your future looking like? Mask on, 
mask off. Sweet mohawk, mine's a lot better. While the roasts were pretty funny, all the wrestlers managed to stay in character. Except with Christmas only a few days away, Santino Morella decided to be a Grinch and reveal the truth about Santa Claus. Before he could, John Cena walked in and cut him off. Despite how seriously he took the situation, even Cena cracked up. You have a big mouth, John Cena, and there's nothing. I would like more for Christmas than a chance to shot it. In late 2015, Dean Ambrose had some issues with the Wyatt family. Randy Orton would try to help Ambrose, but the lunatic fringe had some trust issues. The conversation was getting tense, but the New Day came out to help defuse the situation in their own unique way. They started mocking Ambrose by saying the Shield hadn't accomplished as much as the New Day. The group then turned their attention to Randy, and this is when the Viper couldn't help but laugh. Dang, Randy! How many groups have you been in? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You give a whole new definition to the word groupie. <laughs> Got him. After becoming WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin was embroiled in a feud with Vince McMahon and Dude Love. To keep an eye on his enemy, Stone Cold decided to watch one of Dude Love's matches ringside as a guest commentator. The Texas Rattlesnake wasn't going to just sit and watch, however, and ended up getting in the ring. Stone Cold threw some beer at Dude Love, which seemed to form some kind of an alliance. Dude Love, aka McFoley, ended up leaving Steve Austin in the ring and joined Vince McMahon and his dudettes on stage for some dancing. McMahon went all out, and the sight of seeing his boss dancing made Stone Cold smile. Prior to joining WWE, Lance Storm's catchphrase was, If I can be serious for a minute. This attitude carried over to WWE, but it was Stone Cold Steve Austin who wasn't having it. The Texas Rattlesnake would shout boring during Lance Storm's matches and even pretended to fall asleep. Goldust decided to help out and tried to improve Lance's charisma and make him more interesting. This led to a backstage segment where Lance Storm dressed up as Goldust. The real bizarre one was being his usual self, and Goldust actually did it so well that Lance Storm couldn't help but laugh. We've got kielbasas, and we've got sausage, and midgets, all waiting in the- At the 2014 Battleground pay-per-view, John Cena defend the World Heavyweight Championship against Kane, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns. This is only Roman's second time competing for the WWE World title. Ironically though, it was the multi-time champion that broke character. At one point, Reigns nailed John Cena with his finisher, the spear. However, John Cena didn't sell it at all, and instead called for Kane to break up the pinfall. Due to the camera position, it was clear as day, and it certainly didn't help make Roman Reigns look really strong. This wasn't the only time John Cena broke character in the middle of a match. During the 2018 Royal Rumble, it came down to the final four, John Cena, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, and, ironically, Roman Reigns. Roman and Cena had a stare down, and the plan was for Shinsuke and Finn to break it up. Their timing was off though, forcing Cena to yell at Nakamura and Balor to attack him and Roman. Shinsuke and Finn sprung into action, but only after Cena broke character. Drew McIntyre is a nice guy, but whatever you do, do not get in his way. During the 2021 Elimination Chamber, McIntyre was locked inside a cage and forced to defend his title. Once the Scottish Warriors pot opened, Drew went on a rampage. He beat down Randy Orton and was doing the same to Jeff Hardy. McIntyre looked to throw the charismatic enigma into one of the pods, but unfortunately, the cameraman was in the way. He's in danger. <gasps> Drew threw Jeff Hardy anyways, and the cameraman accidentally got hit too. Drew McIntyre was too upset to care, and all he said was, Thanks to hold your move. Not long after winning the WWE Championship in 1999, Big Show found himself in a match against Triple H on Raw. The game and the Giant were going through the motions, and it seemed like a normal WWE match. Then, the camera caught Triple H breaking character. Do that! Now, this isn't something only Triple H has done. The term for what the game did is called calling a spot, where a wrestler will tell their opponent what move to do next. However, what makes this moment noticeable is not only did the camera pick up what Triple H was saying, but he also called Big Show by his real name, Paul White. Survivor Series 2016 was a very bad night for Shane McMahon. Shane was a member of Team SmackDown and competed in a 5 on 5 elimination tag team match. Things got off to a rough start when Chris Jericho gave Shane McMahon a real kick to the face. Unfortunately for Shane O'Mac, that was 
wasn't the only move that went wrong. Later in the match, Shane went to hit the coast to coast, but got caught in midair by Roman Reigns. The spot looked really cool, but Shane landed pretty hard, and afterward, McMahon didn't seem to be okay. What made this even worse is that Shane McMahon's kids were sitting in the front row watching all this. Randy Orton, who was also in the match, decided to break character to let Shane's children know that their dad was gonna be okay. While Shane McMahon did suffer a concussion, he was alright, and was back to work soon after. In late 2018, Mustafa Ali was receiving a big push when he was moved to SmackDown and began feuding with the WWE Champion, Daniel Bryan. The two faced off in a tag team match, which saw Bryan team with Andrade, while Ali teamed with AJ Styles. To close out the match, Mustafa Ali hit his finisher, the 054, on Bryan. However, there was a mistake, and Ali's knee crashed into Daniel Bryan's face. Immediately, Ali broke character to tell Daniel Bryan he was sorry. The match came to an end, and while he had his hand raised, Mustafa Ali felt terrible. Luckily, Ali's knee only hit Bryan's chin, and Daniel was just fine. During a match on Raw, Chris Jericho had to break character in order to protect a fellow wrestler. To see what happened, watch the video on screen.